there guys, it's Kim, your Chic Geek from YourChicGeek.com and I want to bring you this quick video tutorial to show you how to create a beautiful text logo um, for your brand and for your business. Okay, um, So there's a few resources that we're going to be use, uh, using. Um, one of, uh, most of them are free. One of them you will need to purchase or make a purchase from, but um, it's really an excellent resource to use for this specific tutorial. The first one is going to be CreativeMarket.com. I do have a link to that uh, site. It is an affiliate link where so if you decide to purchase something, a font pack or etc. from the site, I will get a commission. I just want to be transparent with you about that. The next one is going to be duckfont.com. Um, this is a site where you can get um, go to download different fonts for free. Uh, the next site is going to be pixlr.com. That's the site that we're going to use to create the actual logo. And then the last one is going to be color palettes.com. Um, this is where we're going to go to choose a color palette for our brand. Okay, so let's get into this thing. So choosing a color palette um, is really, really important. And um, this site is the site that I use to really simplify uh, choosing colors to pair together um, for branding. You know, um, So what I would do is come on over to this site. And as you can see, the site is uh, www.color-hex.com. And then you'll navigate to color palettes. Um, and as you can see, they have a whole list of different color palettes that you can use to brand your uh, brand your business right now the reason that I like coming to this site is because I like to um, be able to get my color codes and this really simplifies it for you and all of that good stuff so for this particular example the color palette that I'm going to be using for um, to do a logo is going to be ice cream 2 right so what I typically do is I create a text file right a notepad document that I can record this information in so I've chosen my color palette which is going to be ice cream 2 um, the primary color code that I want to use for this specific example I'm going to use this one because it's, it's a dark I kind of like the contrast between dark and light so that's going to be the primary color code and then the second color that I want to use to balance out the uh, logo is going to be this one so what I'll do is I'll record both of these and that's pretty much it and again, you can come on over here and you can, you know, browse under latest color palettes and just kind of find something that sticks out and that like that you like, okay? And play around with those colors. All right. So then the next resource that I'm going to be using is going to be creativemarket.com. I love this site. They have a lot of neat little fonts and things that you can use to create a text logo and make it look really, really nice and professional, okay? So in order for me to choose a font to download and to purchase for them, I will come over to fonts. And then I would come down to script because that's the kind of font that I actually um, kind of like. I think they're really, you know, really nice and they look great. Now, for you men, of course, you don't want to use something like this. So for the guys, I would definitely recommend using like a sans serif font. Okay. And they have some really, really nice ones. They're really affordable. As you can see, um, you know, uh, 12 bucks for this one, 19 bucks for this one. So you can come on over here and figure out, you know, what works best for you and for your brand. Okay. Now, just back to this specific example, again, we're going to use a script font from Creative Market. So I'm going to go over to fonts and then I'm going to scroll down to scripts. OK, so then what I typically like to do is I like to purchase a font pack. Now, font packs basically have more than one font that you can use for branding your business and kind of play around with it and find something that kind of fits specifically for your brand. So in this specific font pack, as you can see, it's only 16 bucks and I think that's a great investment for starting off. And they have 16 type of font faces or fonts that you can use within this pack to create a text logo for your business. Now, if I wanna get an idea as to how this font will look for my brand, then what I would do is scroll on down and I will come into this search or into this box to type my brand name which is your sheetgeek.com to see visually what this would look like. Okay, and as you can see, it looks they have some really, really nice looking fonts in this pack. Um, it looks really, really great. And the one that sticks out to me so far is let's see, I like this one, your sheet geek or the happy girl font and uh, this one, okay? So just giving you an example of um, how you can use Creative Market to find uh, a font that you can use for branding, okay? So the next tool that I like to use is uh, called dafont.com. Now, the font has a lot of free fonts that you can download and use um, for your brand as well. And if you wanted to find a script font, then you would basically just go to dafont.com 
you will come on over to the scripts uh, section and then you would go to handwritten to look at some of their handwritten fonts just like creativemarket.com you can actually type in your brand name so your sheetgeek.com you can click submit and then it's going to show you or give you examples of what your brand name would look and some or how, of how your brand name would look in some of these logos okay now what you want to remember is with using this site is you want to make sure that you're choosing fonts that are 100% free okay because some of them they say per free for personal use that doesn't mean that you can take them and use them for your site to brand and all of that good stuff so definitely you want to select all of the fonts that are 100% free and then I usually sort and then I click submit to see which ones are 100% free and as you can see there's a lot of different stuff going on here um, these don't look really to me as good as uh, what uh, the ones from creative market look so but just wanted to kind of give you guys um, an example of, of how you can come over to defont.com, find something, type your brand name in, view it, and see if it works for you. Okay? All right. So I have already actually gone to um, Creative Market and I've downloaded a font pack that I'm going to use for this, uh, for this specific example. The font pack that I downloaded was called um, Hand Lettering Bundle. I think I paid about 16 bucks for it, and um, it comes with 16 fonts. Now, the font that I'm gonna use to brand uh, my site is called Stephanie Jane. Now, in order to install this font, to use it with the Pixlr tool that we're gonna be using to actually create the font, what you would need to do is to install the font, or to, to download the font first from Creative Market or from DuffFont.com and then you would save it in a zip file to your desktop and that's what I've done here okay this is the bundle and then the font that I know I want to use for this specific example to create my text logo is going to be Stephanie Jane so if I want to install Stephanie Jane into my desktop then what I would do is I would first double click on Stephanie Jane double click again and then I want to install the true type font file to the back uh, onto my desktop in order to use it in Pixlr so you simply just double click on this and then it's going to bring up some options to say if you want to print or install we want to install this font okay so you're going to click install and again I've already installed this font so then I'm going to click yes to replace it and great it's installed okay cool so now we're going to go over to Pixlr to actually create the text logo okay now and then another thing too that I want to do is for tracking is I know that my primary font is Stephanie Jane okay we've made that determination okay so the next thing that I want to do to come on over to actually create the logo is I'm going to come into pixlr.com and I'm going to click to launch the web app because that's what we're going to be using and then I'm going to click to create a new image okay so I'm going to name this YourSheetGeek.com Test Logo, okay? So under width and height, now this is something that you really want to remember, okay? Before we even start doing this, is if whenever you have chosen your primary font that you want to use and you're ready to create your text logo, if for some reason that the font is not showing up, when you go into Pixlr, and I'm going to show you this, but if the font is not showing up in Pixlr, you typically have to go in to close down your browser, all of your sessions, to clear out your cache, and then to reopen it in order for the sh in order for the font to show up. I don't know, it's just really weird about that, but you want to do that if you run into that issue. Okay, so um, in here we're going to name the logo. I'm just going to do a test logo, and then we want to set our width and height dimensions. Now in order to get your width and height dimensions, this is going to ultimately depend on the size requirements for um, the logo requirements for the template or the theme that you're using. Now I know with using um, with using this specific thing that I'm, I'm using for your Sheet Geek that the logo size I think is 428 by 165 or something. I'm kind of going off the cuff here. It's around that range. But if I wanted to get a specific uh, measurements or specific size requirements and what I would use is this tool okay and then I would come over and I would click to goodness I would click to browse and I want to check out what size my logo is okay so I'm gonna click continue and then I'm gonna come down here and it's gonna tell me okay Kim your logo size requirements are 428 by 123 
So then what I would do is come on over here to the logo size and I will record that in here, okay? To have that information, okay? So now we know the size requirements for the logo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type that into width is 428 and the height is gonna be 123. And we wanna click to make sure that this is gonna be a transparent logo. What that means, guys, is that whenever you are creating this logo, it's not gonna have any kind of colors or anything in there that's gonna kind of um, you know, create that white box around it. And I know you've seen that before where people have a logo and you have a white box around it. That's because it's a JPEG image and you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that your logo is clean, crisp, it's transparent. It doesn't have any colors in the background that's going to, you know, detract from the, uh, from the, the logo. Okay. So that's what you want to do. Now, now we figured out what the primary font that we want to use, which is going to be Stephanie Jane. Now we need to find a secondary font that's going to pair well with Stephanie Jane. Now I know that Stephanie Jane is a um, script font. Okay, so what I typically like to do is to come over to font pairing and search, do a search for um, font pairing tools that you can use to figure out what fonts would pair well with your uh, primary font. And one of my favorite sites to go to is fontpair.co. Okay, this is where I typically, typically come to find different fonts that would pair well with my primary font. So I know that my primary font is a cursive type font, okay, and it's, kind of, it's a script font basically, right? So it's gonna look something like this. So here, what they are telling me is that you need to pair this primary font with something like a ledger. That's the kind of font that they're, um, they're giving me or something like a Garamond type font. Now I know in um, Pixlr, I know that Garamond is already a default font that I can pull up and use. So for this specific example, I will pair my primary font with Garamond and then I will record this, okay, to have this in my little document. Okay, great. So now that we figured out what kind of primary font we want to use for the logo and then what kind of secondary font we want to use for the logo, we're going to pop back over to Pixlr and we're going to create the actual logo. Okay. All right. So to do that in Pixlr, what you want to do is come down to the text, this little text box. You want to click on that and then we want to start typing. Uh, actually, before we start typing, we want to select the Stephanie Jane font from this list. Okay. So let's scroll down and find Stephanie Jane. I know she's in here somewhere. Stephanie Jane, where are you? All right, there she is. So this is the font that we want to use for the primary font. I'm going to start typing yoursheetgeek.com. Okay. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to change the color of this font. This is where this little neat um, document comes in hand because we know that our color code that we want to use is already documented. So what I want to do is highlight this color and then by this pound sign, I'm going to drop that here. And I'm going to click OK. Okay, great. That looks really good. Now, this is a little too small. So what I'm going to do to increase this is come over and drag to increase the font size over here. As large as, as it can go. Okay, there we go. So that's yoursheetgeek.com. I think that looks great. So click OK. And that is the primary font that we want to use. Okay, so now we know that um, for the secondary font, we wanted to use Garamond. Okay, so in order to create a secondary font, all you would do, or to create your tagline, all you would do is come underneath and start typing. So I'm going to just use build an impactful online presence as a tagline, just as an example. Now, of course, we don't want to use this font. We want to use Garamond as the font, okay? So what I want to do is scroll down and go through here, and I'm going to choose Garamond once I can find it. And you can actually play around in this. This is what I like about it so, so much. You can play around in this and find something that you think really stands out and makes, you know, really pairs well with your primary font. But in this case, I'm just going to take a look at Garamond to see how Garamond is going to look with my primary font. And of course it's too big, so I'm going to decrease the size 
to see how that looks. And I think that looks okay. Let's try to bold it. Uh, I think it looks okay. I'm not crazy about it. So then I could just kind of scroll through and see, you know, that looks pretty good too. Happy girl. Uh, but uh, let's see here. Let's keep going through. Rika, keep calm. Comer. I think this one actually looks better. Kalinga. Okay, this one looks better, I think, for this. And I would keep that as my secondary logo or secondary font. So I'm going to record this as Kalinga for the secondary instead of Garamond. Sorry, Garamond. All right. So then the next thing that we want to do is we want to change the secondary font color, which we have the color code. Okay. So again, we're going to come under color. We're going to drop color in there. We're going to click OK. That looks pretty. Okay. So then I want to kind of, let's see, bring this down just a tad. And then I want to select to bring your sheet geek down a, a tad. Okay. So now I'm going to click File, I'm going to click Save, and again, you want to save this as a PNG file because you don't want any kind of white space or all that kind of stuff around the logo, okay, around this specific logo that you're going to use for your site, okay? So you click OK, and then we want to save to the desktop, and there you go, okay? So if I want to see how this logo looks... Um, what I could do is simply come back over to pick resize, and I know there's some other tools that you can use to look at it, but I want to browse, and I want to go to yoursheetgeek.com logo, the test logo, to see how it looks, and I'm going to click continue. Wow, look how beautiful that looks. This is what the logo is going to look like. Then, you know, to install it and get it uploaded to your, 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 to your site, you just basically upload it to your site and voila I think that looks really really nice with the two uh, two color combinations and this just goes to show you how simple it can be to create a really nice and professional looking and beautiful uh, text logo for your brand to kind of start off with. Mm -hmm.